Back in my onesie, as Shanika stated, right eleven here. Eleven times, eleven times, <laughs> eleven times. In the one week she's owned it. No, I've owned this onesie <laughs> for, for like minutes. a couple days, <laughs> and I've worn it only twice. Lies, lies. This is my second time wore it, wearing it. The last Three time times. I wore it was on my you ankles. Know where to, uh, why was it on your ankles? Because I was gonna wear it, but I didn't. <laughs> But <laughs> yeah, so right now we're playing my favorite game because I'm the best at it. We're playing Catan. No, I don't. And I'm waiting for everybody to go because it's taking forever. Yo, everybody's on a trash number. I'm on a three. So for me, with Amanda, yeah, are fire, Kimisha. So. But I'm like, debating if I should go here or if I should go numbers, here. So. Okay. If you guys don't play Catan, you guys gotta buy the game and play it because it's lit. By the way, you guys, I've ordered a new Catan. I've ordered the original version so we don't have to go to the other one. It's on this one. Are you gonna play that one on special occasions and we're gonna continue to play yes. this one? Live. When Amanda and Ali are playing, we're using this one. That's fine. Woo! <laughs> that scared me. And it smells like pubs. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> I'll trade you a sheet I don't have now. A brick. I don't have a brick. Who has a brick? Alright guys, so this is the board. Kamisha has the longest road right now, but I'm coming for it. I'm orange. See that? It's coming. I'm coming. Oh wow. Sis, not for long. Not for long. Please don't zoom on my face. I am. <laughs> so guys, I just want Katan. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I just want Katan. Oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> Guys, I have a little baby in here. Her name's Ari. She's growing so big. I know, so huge. I know. So, Actually, how many so months are you now? Um, eight months. Eight okay. months in a week. Let's get a. I'm wearing the. Oh my God, but yeah, so we're planning the baby shower right now. Like, yeah. so, it looks like it is happening. Well, I'm not really planning. I'm just listening. Oh my god, it took me like but five minutes. But baby shower is January 13th. I'm excited. That's also Bonds' oh, birthday, but I gotta put the baby shower. Bonds' so birthday, we can celebrate that whole entire weekend. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. Like, she's about to pop. Her name is gonna be Aria. Beautiful. I'm so excited. It's like a long time friend that I grew up with. It's like having a baby. She's like the first one out of like all of my like close friends. So, it's crazy. Amanda! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Guys, look at the wall. They have a baby book wall. It's so cute. Where's that? Today it's no, where's that book? Today it's snowing and we're gonna read Arya, the snowy day. Aww, and is it the black kid on the front? That's what you gave us, A black kid. Oh, I didn't know. Um. Oh, it's behind. Oh, this is the. This is the like. Oh. No, it's not that one. Are you talking about the No, book? I know, but this is like the book that everybody knows oh, about, Love You Forever. Is it Robert Munch? I used to, is it? No, yeah, it is. Forever, like oh. yeah. But it's by Robert Munch. Yeah. Yeah, everybody knows this book. Robert used to be my favorite. Was, uh, the, the author he was, he was. And then J.K. Robert, Robert, it wasn't that banger. <laughs> Ew, is that Goosebumps? No, the oh. from Harry Potter. Oh. Do you want to Wait, show yeah, the where is it? Gave me? Yeah, where is it's it? Behind the Rapunzel. <laughs> See why you hiding it? So, because we, so guys, we guys <laughs> look at this book. Go the F to sleep. Freaking Shauna bought this book for Amanda to read to her child. This is not gonna happen. Who makes this type of book for children? I'm dead. It's 137, 88.5, and 116. The eagles who soar through the sky are, the re are at rest, and the creatures who crawl run and creep. I know you're not thirsty. That's bullshit. Stop lying. Wow. Lie the fuck down, my darling, and sleep. <laughs> Yo, that's horrible. The wind whispers soft through the grass, mom. hun. What, the field been? mice they make uh, not a peep. It's been 38 minutes already. <laughs> JC, what the f? Go to sleep. Yo, I can't. That is, this is a funny book, but no, you cannot read this to your child ever. 
hey guys so i just got home and it's snowing like crazy outside like it's not supposed to even stop until like tomorrow afternoon so i'll show you guys outside but like i feel like i'm gonna show you guys my whole neighborhood you guys already see my whole neighborhood to be honest to be honest but i'll show you guys the floor like see the snow snow is literally everywhere and like it's only gonna stack up and this is this is packing snow this is not even like the regular snow that just melts away this is gonna stick so i feel sorry for everybody who has to wake up tomorrow morning and drive to work there's gonna be traffic you know hopefully they have the people on the road but even if they do have it people on the road to like take up all the snow it's still gonna be snowing until the afternoon so that's crazy but guys my mustache right now is so freaking hairy i think i'm gonna go sorry i just have to say it. it looks so nice in the dark like with the i love the color you guys are making me love the color more now because you guys like it i like it too but you guys gave me so many great ideas about what to do with the table and my friend came over she's like i should sign it down as well and like paint it and things like that so we might do that and then like yeah i think we're gonna do that probably i don't know what the couch is maybe change it we'll see i don't know we'll see but yeah anyways my mustache is growing back so badly i want to show you guys how i wax it when i wax at home um yeah i used to use like actually the hot wax where i used to put it on the stove or whatever and like to warm it up but now i just use like the strips which i'm gonna do right now because my lip my upper lip is hairy okay Somebody asked me how do I wax like at home and stuff and what do I use? Like honestly, I don't use a specific wax. Just because I'm so used to waxing, like nothing really hurts me or anything. Like it's just whatever. So what I'm gonna be, jeez, adjust light. Okay, I'm back. That lighting was crazy. But yeah, what I'll be using is the Veet right here. Um, it's the face precision wax strips. Natural something something. And it's for your upper lip, cheeks, and chin. I got a lot of hair all over my face. That's just my family. Like my mom is hairy and her she has really thick hair. My dad is hairy, like he's hairy. And he has really thick hair, so that shit transfers for, to me, transfers to my sister. Like, it is what it is, man. Your girl is just a hairy beast, okay? It sucks. Like, honestly, it sucks. And, like, I really would want to try laser, but I'm scared. Like, I'm scared. Because then I heard after you do lasering, you cannot, like, do waxing again. Is it waxing? Yeah, I don't think you can do waxing. I don't know if that changed, but, like, back in the day, I couldn't do it. So this is what this strip looks like. Oh my gosh, it looks like band-aids. So I actually have not tried these before. I literally get whatever I, I see and it kind of looks good. That's what I do. It looks like you warm it in between your hands and then you place it on your upper lip and then you rip it off. So let's do that. This is girl stuff, okay? I don't know if you guys can see that, but okay, you can see it, look. All that hair, bro. Brian told me he's like he's like like because when I stay over there for like two months at a time sometimes I just don't bother to like wax and stuff and he'd be like oh my gosh like your hair is growing back <laughs> he's like I want to see how it looks when you grow it all back I'm like trust me you don't or probably grow more than <laughs> than yours does nah it wouldn't grow that much but I'm just saying it grows a lot so I'm just gonna warm it up in between my hands And guys, like, oh my gosh, I just really can't believe that, like, one of my, like, one of my good, good friends is having a baby. It's just so weird. Time flies so fast. Like, I remember when her stomach was so little. I remember when we were in Vegas, and you couldn't even see her belly like that. And now, it's like, oh my gosh. So, I just can't wait to see, to see her. It's going to be a big change in, like, the dynamic of, like, all the friendships, but we'll see. So, I warmed it up. This is sticky. So we're just gonna place this. I don't even have a mirror, I'm using the viewfinder. Right here. And you always wanna do it the direction that your, the opposite direction that your hair is on. So this side, I'm gonna rip it this way. And 
I forgot to mention you want to make sure that um, around your lip is like clean like so you want to like go over it with some like water or something because if you have oils and lotions and stuff like that the hair is not gonna stick to the wax as well so yeah a lot of hair just came off wow wow okay gonna do the next side Kind of scared, kind of scared right now. Okay, gets it right from the roots. So I do have like a little bit more hair like around my lip line, so I'm gonna get that. And then like right up the top. Most of it did come off, not all of it, and I'm not going to go over it again because if you keep going over the same spot, you'll irritate the skin and your literally your skin will come off. So there's only like a little bit of hairs, which usually always happens to me. So you can either go in with like a, um, a little razor, which I don't do because no, no, that'll grow back the next couple seconds. But I usually will like use like a tweezer or something and just pluck up little hairs or just leave it because I don't really care. Because most, honestly, most women that I see, they, they have a little bit of hair on their upper lip. So yeah, it comes with a good amount as well. So this is going to last me a long time. That way I don't have to go to get it professionally waxed, which is what I usually do. And then it comes with some finishing wipes right here. Yeah, it's like oily now, so it just takes off the wax. So I don't know if you guys can see that though, but that's like a big difference than it was before, before it was like hairy. So look. So yeah, that was pretty easy. Um, now I'm going to get ready for bed. I gotta wash my face, brush my teeth, and yeah. Who do I want to wash my face with today? I think I'm just gonna go in with my walnut scrub by Ole Henriksen. Honestly, I love Ole Henriksen's products. It's so... See, that's the thing. I want to use this, but I can't use it around this part because it might irritate it a little bit. I'll use this like around my face, but yeah, Ole Henriksen products are so, 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 so good. Definitely recommend to try um, him out, his products. You can find them at Sephora. Um, I'm going to use my perfect skin, my super perfect skin brush. This is not sponsored. You guys just know I love that product. I love that brush. So I do have a coupon code if you guys are interested in it. But you guys always ask me like what products I use and stuff like that. I honestly I switch up all of my face products all the time. The only thing that is like really staple is my spin brush and aloe vera gel. And that's pretty much it. I like everything else switches up when it comes to my skincare. Cause I get like things sent to me all the time and I just like changing, you know, trying new things and stuff when it comes to my skincare. Like, even though this is already like an exfoliant, I still like to use my spin brush. And literally wherever I have dark marks, that's where I like really focus on. So I have a few dark marks like under here and along my jawline. So that's where I like focus on the most. So I literally just do that for like 
Okay, so for my toner, of course, I'm using my handy dandy aloe vera gel, which you guys know I love. A lot of you guys ask if I put it in the refrigerator, and I really don't. I just keep it in like a dark place. It says um, refrigerated, but I don't, so I don't know. So I'll just take a blob of that and put it. Oh, I love the feeling of it on my skin. It's so like cold. I feel like this is this product naturally stays cold unless you live in like maybe like Texas or something. But yeah, the product actually naturally stays cold because I do have some of this at Brian's house too, and it's still cold, and I don't put it in the fridge. So this is really good at like um, like closing your pores and I don't know, it just makes your skin like really, really nice and like, I always say glowy because that's just what it does. It makes your skin glow, takes away the dark marks. It's such a bomb ass product and it's so cheap and affordable. So, so lately I've been using my Esther Estee Lauder Advanced Night Pair if it would focus yeah this treatment so I'm gonna go in with that this is my serum my night serum premium shea butter as you can see you guys still know I rock with this ish all day uh, this product is amazing for my skin so I just take a little bit of that and put that on my skin again I only use this at night time or if, like if I'm really really dry and I'm not gonna be wearing makeup because if I wear makeup it's gonna be a little bit too oily on my skin and this is also good with like fading dark marks making you have like glowy soft skin I will link my full skincare routine down below or pop up like on the cards, whatever side it is, I don't know. <sighs> but guys, how was like, how was your 2017? I would love to know. My 2017 was honestly, it was really, really good. Like I don't really have any complaints. Of course there were ups and downs, but overall, like I'm blessed. Like I'm super, super blessed. And you know, I had a really, really successful year. 2018 is going to be even more successful. You know, every year, I feel like I'm becoming a better person. Every year, the coins are stacking up even higher and higher. You know, I am super blessed. And, like, all I can do is thank God for, you know, allowing me to have this life. You know, but nothing in this life lasts forever. That's the thing. Nothing lasts forever. This life is not permanent either. So you always got to remember that. And like, don't compromise yourself in this life. You know, stay true to yourself. Put God first. And all of that. Okay. I know one of you guys are going to be like, you should be going upwards, 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 not down. You're going to get wrinkles and you're going to drag your face down. I should be taking that advice because I already have chubby cheeks. My mom has chubby cheeks. I, you know, double chin is already there. So your girl needs to like be doing this, doing all of that. <laughs> God, I'm so extra. So yeah, I'm going to brush my teeth. Um gotta use my water pick i just got this water pick from walmart walmart or shopper's drug mart i can't remember but this is literally a random one um this is not the best one that i use the best one that i used was actually from vanity planet but it broke on me when i went to vegas and i was so pissed because they no longer sold it like i don't know because they sent it to me a really long time ago and it literally broke on me. I went back on the site to try to find it, to buy a new one, and it wasn't there. So I had to get this one. It's not the best, but it still works. Okay guys, so my nightly ritual is always to 
use my little aroma is it aromatherapy <laughs> my oil diffuser um so it's like aromatherapy though so yeah um using lavender of course i feel like it's been helping like i love the smell i feel like because my room smells good it allows me to sleep i don't know if it's because of the scent necessarily but because my room smells good i don't know it's, it's, it's working for me you know it's literally like something that i have to do every night now you know recently i just started getting back into my bible i feel like <clears throat> you know i kind of like strayed away from it for a while and i feel like it's ever since i got like busy with my career and stuff like that or like my my work i really drifted away so like now you know started getting back into it and i started from genesis i'm starting all over like i read a good portion of this bible like a lot of it but you know if you're not, you always need to sharpen your sword because that's what this Bible is. And so, yeah, I've been, I'm starting literally from the beginning again. But it's crazy, like, once you start reading, you're just like, I remember this, I remember this, I remember this. Because literally before, like, I could just literally be like, you know, Leviticus, this and that, Matthew, this and that. And, like, I know what the, what the, um, scripture is. But now I'm like, um... I remember, like, I can paraphrase it, but I don't remember what the actual verse and chapter is, so. And Psalm 51, this is, like, my favorite, like, prayer kind of thing before bed because I feel like, obviously, because I've been falling off and, like, kind of just being in the ways of the world a lot, like, more just in tune with the world that I feel like I need this cleanse, you know? I need to be cleansed, so, you know, I want that spirit on me before I go to bed at night, so. Yeah, that's what I like to read before I go to bed. And yeah, it makes me, you know, feel good. Say my little prayer and then I'm out. But yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Pretty much showed you guys my mini night routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Mwah.